What is going on everyone? This is Enzo here. Welcome to season two of my Chelsea career mode. In this season, we are going to be really just playing the Champions League games. That is our goal. We want to win it all. We want to win the big one. Last year, we came up just short in the EPL table. We finished second, gave it our best shot. Season one, that's not too bad. But in season two, it's going to be all about the Champions League. That is what we really want to be winning. We're going to take a look at our lineup here and see what we're working with. We have a really healthy squad going into Season 2. We have Werner playing in the number 9, brought in last year. Milinkovic Savage, the big Serbian beast, playing in the cam role, brought him in as well. As well as Asensio on the right side there. Was an absolute stud for us last season. We got the Chelsea stalwarts, Hazard, Jorginho, and Conte across the middle. Got Azpilicueta, Koulibaly who we brought in, Maguire we brought in, Alonso and Kepa to round out the starting 11. So what I really want to do is keep Hazard, Werner, SMS, Asensio, probably Jorginho, Conte and Koulibaly. So what we're looking to do is replace Alonso, Maguire and maybe Azpilicueta. It's tough you know because Azpilicueta is rated 87 overall. But he doesn't really play that great in game. He's pretty slow. He's getting older. Um, what other things we might want to do? I just might. I might. Werner was awesome for us, and I don't want to change up two season too much from season one. But I might bring in like. Let me show you our budget real quick, and show you what we're working with. So we have an awesome budget: 170 million pounds and 819 uh thousand pound uh wage but so just so much to work with and if we jump back into our team we have a lot of dead wood so i think we can make up a lot of finance going forward um and, and even bump that wage budget up even more like we have our squad is so deep going into the season two bakayoko back on loan who else came back but came back from loan zuma uh matt miazga Came back from loan so we have a lot of dead wood here kennedy um we have a very deep squad and i'm really only focused on the champions league like i said i'm not going to sell off the whole team but i think it's the amount of talent we have in here is pretty unnecessary i'm going to cut a lot of that and see if we could really ramp up like we are trying to build like a ridiculous world-class 11 like we're trying to put together like one of the best teams of all time here is what we're really trying to do so let me go in and search through the transfer market and see who we could list to sell ourselves and i'll be right back okay guys so one of the things i'm thinking about doing the more i fiddle around with the squad is i'm thinking about I love Jorginho. He's one of my favorite players, but he's really not, for the purposes of FIFA, he's really not that great because the way his style works with his quick, intricate passing, he has a, an amazing mind for the game, his positional awareness, but a lot of that doesn't really translate to FIFA. Um, you know, you have these players like Jorginho, uh, Pirlo back in the day, Ozil, like this type of player doesn't always translate great to FIFA because a lot of what makes them amazing is their vision and their mental side of the game. And that doesn't necessarily matter for, for, for FIFA purposes. So I might put SMS in the in back with Conte in the midfield because we need a big man in the midfield. Our midfield is just way too small. Every time long balls are launched, we lose it if our defenders don't step up. So I'm thinking about putting SMS in the midfield. Move, I'll still keep Jorginho, but we'll put him in a reserve role to come off the bench. And then I might pick up a world-class cam i'm thinking about doing that or even moving asensio to the middle and then getting like griezmann or dybala to play on that right side i think that would be incredible maybe even like a douglas costa just because his speed is so phenomenal but and then the other thing i'm going to do is bring in varan or scrinyard to replace mcguire those are the two things i'm looking at doing right now uh or even putting Azpilicueta is really listed as a center back in this game. So I could even put Azpilicueta in the middle of Koulibaly and then bring in a world-class right back. Maybe Jao Cancelo or someone of that nature. Um, maybe even, you know, uh, Joshua Kimmich. I might do that as well. Uh, see you guys in a sec. Let me do that. Okay, guys, we're in the transfer hub here. And as you can see, we are all over the board. I figured why well, I don't really want to try to bring in Messi and Ronaldo because they're both deep into their 30s right now and they got other things going on. I don't really want to try to do that at the moment, but I was thinking why not try to bring in one of the best players in the world? Maybe hasn't been on his game as much this year, but I figured why not? Let's see what PSG want for him. Uh, you know, he's always rumored to be going other places anyway. I put De Bruyne. Actually, I guess I did put Messi there just because why not? It's all about having fun. Uh, Griezmann, Dybala, Skriniar. Varane, Kimmich, 
I'm not going to bring in... Like I said, I might either move uh, Azpilicueta into the middle and then sign, try to sign Kimmich. Or someone tell me, by the way, is it Kimmich or Kimmich? Because I don't know how CHs are pronounced in German when they're like that. Someone let me know. Let's see. Sane, Salah. Um, so i got a bunch of ideas going on right now. I think what I'm going to try to do is just... Uh, I'm going to let this sit for the time being and see if any of our other transfer listed players get sold. Uh, let's see what we come back with. And Actually, you know what? We don't even need to do that right now because our budget is so ridiculous. You know what? Let's actually go in for Neymar. They have him valued, evaluated at 102 million pounds. Let's see what that really is. We won't let Neymar go 195. Okay. That's all right. It was worth a shot. So this is interesting, guys. I didn't realize this, but Dybala actually has a release clause in his contract. So we might be able to just go and sign him for $135 million. Let's go ahead and see if we can make this work. Let's go it. So we're going to pay the fee. We're going to go in and negotiate. All right, this is interesting. I didn't realize that 135 for Dybala would be kind of a steal, in my opinion. One of the best players in the world. If we could bring him into the team, we'd still have like 50 mil left over to play with. This would be an absolute bargain. Insane to say, $135 million. Let's see. First thing I want to discuss is the roll. Yep, that is no problem at all. Let's see, now what do they want to do? We're making good progress. How many years? I mean, it doesn't really matter because we're only going to be doing this year anyway, but let's go ahead and do five years because that's probably what they're looking for. Let's see, we want to go ahead. So we want to put a release clause of 261 million pounds. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I guess that's no problem. I don't think anyone's going to be paying that in this next year. Let's see, he wants to be paid 210 a week. And a signing bonus of 2 million pounds. Uh, an additional of 4.7 when he scores 15 goals, which he will be doing. We are going to absolutely accept all of that. And we just put Dybala into the club. Holy crap. I cannot wait to get him into the squad. Let's immediately go into our squad and arrange this. So, like I said, we're going to put Milinkovic Savic is going to pair Conte, Jorginho. We'll drop to the bench. Where's Dybala? There's Dybala. Let's get Jorginho. Has to be on the bench, though, for... I think we're going to bump Fabregas. Even though he's rated higher than Loftus-Cheek, he's just... His, the way his skills work in the game, I, I, better, I, I play better with Loftus-Cheek, so Fabregas is going to drop to the bench. So there it is. Dybala in the middle as our cam. That is Hazard and Dybala are going to be so ridiculous. Werner up top, Asensio on the wing. This squad is starting to look ridiculous. Let's go pick up a world-class center back. Okay, guys, so I'm not going to play these games because, again, it's all about winning the Champions League, but we could get some prize money for this tournament, so I'm going to go ahead and sim these games and see what happens. There's a 10 million pound or more like 11 million pound prize for the Asian Elite Cup. We got Bayern, Chelsea... Uh, Juve, who are some of these other teams? It's hard to see from back here. Is that Ike, maybe? I can't tell who that yellow is or that green and yellow. Maybe, I don't even know. I don't know a couple of these other teams, but we got Echo and PSG as well. Um, so let's go ahead and participate in that. So first game of the Asian Cup. Unfortunately, Dybala will not be starting because he's on international duty. So I, I don't even know what tournament that would be. So 20... 2019 the summer i don't even know where he's playing right there maybe a south american tournament i'm not sure but anyway Jorginho gets us on the board early versus shendong i don't know if is that an asian team maybe i would guess that's you positive sms we just want to avoid all injuries maybe i shouldn't even have all my best players in here we're going to crush this team anyhow i should probably get together a second squad lineup i'll, I'll play around with that in my team sheet selection but anyhow 3-1 victory right there no problem Game two here of the Summer Cup in Asia versus Atletico. Let's see what we can do here, Sam. First big test of the season. <coughs> Goal apiece early. Nothing else happening. 
Remember, they played a couple games in the Champions League a couple years back now. Just last year, actually. Let's see, it looks like this is going to end 1-1. to I think... I forgot how those games went. I think Chelsea actually won real late in the game at Atletico, like 2-1 at the very tail end of the game. I don't remember how the game in London went. But anyway, this is going to be 1-1 here. Into the third game of the Summer Cup, we are 1-1. One one. I think we should have no problem taking care of this team. I think it's another Asian team. I'm actually just going to go ahead and skip this. We don't have to watch every single one. Yeah, we stomped them out for nothing. That is no problem at all. I'm sure we are on to the next round. Let's go ahead and see who we've drawn. We've drawn Juve in the semifinals. That should be interesting. All right, we've gone ahead and sold Baba for 10 million. What else do we have to do here? Uh, I can go ahead and accept that. All right. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. So Miazga, we've gone ahead and sold him for 6.1. I. So we've got 2.6 from the Asian Cup. So we're slowly trickling in some more money here. Those players, we haven't really sold anyone yet. They still all have to agree to terms. Everson sold. All right. But Zappacosta's negotiation, they considered his price tag too high. Oh, they can. Okay, so they kind of reached that. I probably wouldn't pay that much for uh, Zappacosta either. Let's go ahead and get into this Juve game. Let's see. Ball is back from his. Let's go ahead and accept that. Go ahead and accept that. We don't have to play around negotiating with that one. Let's go ahead and see if Dybala is back from whatever tournament he was playing in. You know what? I just remembered. That's probably the... Uh... Oh, I can't even remember what it's called right now. The, the South American version of the Euros. Is it just called the... The South American, the Copa Sudamerica? Something like that? I'm probably way off. I can't remember what it's called right now. I should know, but... Let's go ahead. No, he's still there. So maybe Argentina making a deep run. Uh, but let's go ahead and sim this game versus Juve. I believe this is the semifinals. Let's see where this one goes. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see. Well, who is on? So Juve not really playing their great squad here, actually. So we should be able to take this one. Yeah, it looks like Juve has all their youngsters in. I think Ronaldo's on the bench. Mandzukic, Chiellini, so they really don't... They have Raheem Sterling now down there, number 9, so we should be able to take... The, yeah, we are crushing them right now. We end up thumping Juve 5 nothing. In fairness, they don't have any of their starting lineup really in there except Pjanic. Yeah, Pjanic is like the only one that... Pjanic and Benucci, they threw out there. Everyone else got to take a rest, but we're going to thump them 5 nothing in the semis. See how much cash we're going to get for that press conference. Why not? We're going to have PSG in the finals. Go ahead and praise the boys. Ross Barkley. Yeah, let's go ahead and accept that. Let's see if he ends up agreeing terms. I wouldn't mind offloading Barkley if it means getting that sum of money. 3.6 from the Asian Cup. Should be building the budget back up here. Let's go ahead and look and see where we're at. So, slowly getting the budget back up there to make a run at a big name defender is really what we're trying, the goal, what we're trying to do right here. Going forward, we are ridiculous, but we need some help at the back. Oh, man. See, these. this is the problem with FIFA this year. I know everyone knows this, but the problem is these teams from random places, always from, like, completely unrealistic places, want to take players on loan and buy players, but it's, like, nowhere near where they're from, and they're not going to want to go... You never see players from Europe go like to random South American leagues unless he has unless there's some exception he has some connection to the area through his heritage or something like that. You know so like you're not going to see an, why would an English player go to like Argentina just like Argentina Argentine players won't necessarily go to like I mean it goes definitely more from South America to Europe players are starting to come over at younger and younger of an age but it doesn't really go the other way at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and accept that. So FIFA should definitely fix, reprogram that. We keep getting offers for Alonso. For this is from Real Madrid. Uh, see what if I were to delegate, how much would I be able to get for him? I don't necessarily want to sell him because I don't want to have to replace him. But if I could bring in that sum of money in return, oof, this is a tough one. I think I'm going to hold off on selling Alonzo for now because I don't know that I'm going to be able to get a good value player that's 
for a good value, you get a player that's better than him in that left back slot. Let's reject that for now. So Barkley officially sold for 22.5. Miazga sold for 4.8. All right, let's go take a look at the budget once again. Don't worry too much about selling these guys off like Barkley. Remember, the goal is to win the Champions League this year and build an absolute absurd squad. And we're going to need those funds to get another world-class player in here. So it looks like we're about at that point that we, if we want to bring in a, a real world-class defender, about 100 million pounds, we should be able to bring in Varan or Skriniar. Let's go ahead and sim, you know what, see if Dybala is done with the South American Cup yet. Still out there. Man, Argentina must be making a deep run into this thing. Let's go ahead and sim this game versus PSG. See how the final pans out. Come on, boys. Let's see what... It's always interesting seeing what these other big clubs do in-game. Yep, they have Mbappe out there. Benzema back... Or not back. I don't think... He played on Lyon is where he came from. But Benzema in the PSG squad. Ferrati, it's 1-1. Rodriguez, I wonder who that is. It looks like he is on... Is that... That must be um, Ricardo Rodriguez from Milan, I would think. Playing in that left-back slot. We go up 2-1, though. Marcus Alonso with the double. That is so weird. Like, the programming in, in FIFA sometimes. We got three goals, all from left-backs. But we're going to take the final nonetheless. We're going to win the Asian Summer Cup.